I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. You know the problem with Hollywood? Lack of realism. Realism. Now this is a tricky part. What if they push the envelope? Imagine the frenzy the modern media would make of this. And it's not within the realm of conventional cinema, but... No, no, wait, wait, wait! So not everything ends the way you think it should. This film is not yet rated. Coming this summer. Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review. There's another Patreon review for Trevin. Thank you so much. If anyone's ever interested in requesting any other type of videos, whether it be reviews or pretty much any types of videos, you need to either do so directly via my PayPal or be part of my Patreon. The links are down below in the info box. If so, thank you. But the review for today is Swordfish. Now, I've seen this once or twice before. And tell my feeling back then is how I feel now. I thought it was okay. I can't defend the film. It's not a great movie. It's not a memorable movie. But it's one of those that it didn't make me that mad either. I mean... I did like the cast. You had John Travolta, Hugh Jackman, Halle Berry, Don Cheadle. The, the plot of the film, Hugh Jackman, which this was a year after X-Men. So he blew up as Wolverine as X-Men. And one of the first roles he got after X-Men was this. And then teaming up again with Halle Berry, who was also an X-Men. John Travolta, this is a time when... I don't remember when Battlefield Earth came out. Was that before or after this? I can't remember. But anyway, Hugh Jobman's a hacker. He loves his daughter, but he can't see her because of his problems in the past. And even though they love each other, the, the mom is a total bitch and has a restraining order on him. So again, she's a absolute 100% bitch. And Hugh Jobman's a decent guy trying to walk her straight and narrow. Again, he's infamous for being a hacker fucked up stuff a while ago didn't hurt anybody but ruffled some feathers at the FBI one day he gets well not really a knock on the door but Halle Berry comes by and says hey we want you to I want you to meet this guy John Travolta if you do even if you say no you get this money if you say yes you'll get a lot more money and it'll help pay to maybe be able to see your daughter again. And she is with this rich guy. Your wife, your ex-wife is with this rich guy. And they're going to kill you with lawyers. Maybe you can lawyer up and see your daughter. You'll need money. He offers money. Blah, 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 blah. Hugh Jackman does. One thing leads to another. You find out John Travolta has a plan. He wants to jab in the crate this virus that siphons out billions of dollars from the government and make it hard for the FBI and such to trace. And I wouldn't say it's a heist movie. I guess it's a it's a hacker it's a hacker movie. In a way. There's some action in it. There's a little bit of chase at the end. 
it was one of those movies that I didn't mind the direction of the film. It's a movie that I don't think has a strong story. But it has a sequence of events that I don't mind and I think are memorable to me. And there, there's enough of them in a succession and a certain amount of sequences that I enjoyed it, but it's not something that I will remember into the top of the action pile of movies I love. Like Speed, Broken Arrow, True Lies, Running Man, Rambo, any of that stuff. Con Air is better than this. You know, Jar Jar Voltage Broken Arrow is better than this. But there are sequences I enjoy. I mean, the way it begins, I thought, was strong. Which, I mean, it's risky for them to do this, where John Travolta is talking about, you know the problem with Hollywood? They made shit. No realism. Dog Day Afternoon, what if he started killing hostages right away? I'm like, you shouldn't start your conversation with Hollywood made shitty movies, because you could be labeled yourself a shitty movie. And then John Travolta, you say that, I mean, granted, it's because the writer wrote that, but then most people thought your movie was shit here and then Battlefield Earth, that movie was shit, which is why then you led to doing shit like Speed Tills. That was the film I reviewed and what, what the fuck, The Fanatic. Speed Tills and The Fanatic. The Speed Tills was fucking awful and The Fanatic was an experience. I didn't hate it, but it was a fucking experience. I'll say that. So, but I mean, John DeVolta didn't write the script. But it was an interesting conversation. You're trying to be smart about it. And then you realize the conversation's in the middle of this meeting where he's talking to the cops and there's bombs and something goes wrong and there's this 360 degree shot explosion. And I thought it was a cool looking shot. And I thought it was an interesting way to start the movie. With the conversation involved, with the way it's filmed. I'm like, okay. Interesting. Sally, the movie's not as interesting as the opening, but interesting way to set up your, your movie is some cool looking sh**. I don't mind the look of the film, the, the filters they used. Although Travolta has his little stupid fucking thing. It's like, just shave that little bit off, man. It looks like pubic hair. Like, he has this little thing. It looks like pubic hair. It looks like your fucking chin's a pair of balls. And there's your pubic hair. Just shave the shit. But anyway, I digress. But, I mean, there are moments I enjoy. You get Halle Berry's titties. That's a plus. So if you want to see Halle Berry's titties, this movie has it. Uh, there's the moment where when Hugh Jabin meets John Travolta, John Travolta has this thing where most people can hack this in 60 minutes. I don't need someone that can hack this in 60 seconds. So my guy's going to put a gun on you. If you don't, you're going to die. Meanwhile, this girl is going to give you a blowjob as you're trying to hack it. And granted, you just say, well, wow, they're, they're trying really hard to be unique but I thought it was a fun little sequence that I've never seen that before and I thought okay that was interesting and memorable to me uh, there's a little bit action scene where John Travolta and Hugh Jackman are in a car and John Travolta is just shooting at bad guys and going with his heavy machine gun, blows up some cars the finale where uh, Travolta and Hugh Jackman and the hostages are on this bus and Travolta has had a plan where a helicopter comes in and lifts the bus up and the helicopter's flying the bus around and driving through fucking billboards and again the plot you could poke a lot of holes in it that you drive a fucking semi through even little stuff there's a poor in the finale where the bus is going and then the wires break and then this helicopter is holding this bus and the bus is like this and it's only like two fucking wires tables oh my god damn those are some strong fucking tables 
I mean, if four of them couldn't handle it, but two of them, they're handling this some bitch. I'm like, bullshit. But I mean, whatever. Well, it's not whatever, but still. And then, that's what I mean. It's some, I thought some interesting, cool looking shots and I like the cast. I, yeah, I like Hugh Jackman. I like Halle Berry. I like John Travolta. They're not on the A team. I mean, although Sally with Hugh Jackman, this is one of the better movies he did, <laughs> other than X Men. <laughs> if I really think about it, I mean, I'd rather watch this in Real Steel. I probably would rather watch this in Van Helsing. I can't remember what the fuck else Hugh Jabman has done. What, Pan or something? Was he a Peter Pan thing? But he doesn't take the best projects when he's not doing X-Men. That's what I mean, like the story... When there's nothing like that crazy event happening, it's kind of just waiting to get to the next set piece and it for me it's a time waster it's a time waster where it's a brainless movie with a fun little opening some cast members I like trying to this has to be like a Jerry Bruckheimer production because that's what it looks and feels maybe if you got another director like Tony Scott and a, a few more passes on the script maybe it, it could have been better on that front just like Tony Scott made a lot of good movies Deja Vu Take Your Pelham 123 which I reviewed on here Man, of, Man on Fire among others Beverly Hills Cop 2. Spoiler, spoilers. You find out at the end that Hugh Jabman, after the bus lands, Travolta them down a helicopter. Hugh Jabman shoots it down. You realize it's a ruse. Travolta wasn't really on that helicopter. Which I'm thinking, how the fuck did you manage that? Because you see him in the helicopter. Then long enough from the get a rocket from the bus and somehow remarkably that changed so now it's not Travolta in a helicopter I'm like what how the fuck did that happen but whatever and who was in the helicopter who did who the fuck did uh, Hugh Jackman kill because someone was in the helicopter unless it's a fucking remote control helicopter was, is some motherfucker controlling it and the remote control is this big? Like this? Like he's controlling the helicopter? Like fucking that? So who did Hugh Jabin kill? But it's all a ruse because you think John Travolta shot Halle Berry, but really this whole time Halle Berry's been working with Travolta. And you think John Travolta's dead, but he's not dead. And the reason they're stealing all this money is to kill terrorist leaders. So Travolta is a bad guy, but I guess he's not really that much of a bad guy. So he's kind of a bad guy, but he's kind of not a bad guy. So take that for what you will. I'm still not sure of my opinion on that. And this way, I mean, in the title, the title is stupid. Swordfish. Okay, if this is labeled anything, it'd be labeled an action film. Why the fuck would you label an action film swordfish? I mean, you talk about blah, 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 your computer hacking, but swordfish is a lame title for a fucking movie. Swordfish. May I have one ticket to swordfish? Uh, what? Huh? I mean, think of the name test. Speed. True Lies. Rambo, Die Hard, Broken Arrow, Hard Target, Bloodsport, Cliffhanger, Demolition Man, Swordfish, Swordfish, 
uh, even the title I thought was stupid, but like I said, I'm this is not a rant because I didn't hate the film. I could watch it, and from time to time, my interest draws to something on my computer. Then again, one of those scenes comes up the the beginning scene, the hacking sequence, which I thought was a bit different. Halle Berry's titties. Oh, here's John DeVolta shooting some people. Although I'd rather just go watch From Paris With Love and want to see John DeVolta kill some people. Because I, I reviewed that film. I think From Paris With Love is actually fairly underrated and fun from the director of Taken. Really enjoy From Paris With Love. But this, it's an OT set piece, then some stuff happens, blah, 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 blah. Don Cheeto, he works with the FBI. He's trying to get Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is escaping them. He doesn't know if he, Hugh Jackman doesn't know if she, he trusts Halle Berry. So, I mean, I don't think it's awful, terrible. I don't think it's great either. I mean, there's much worse movies. There are better movies. Again, it's a film that I thought had a couple entertaining set pieces and a couple inter you know, actors I liked, but it's not that much of a story. More action would have been nice. I'd be a sucker for more action. And then again, the endings that it's not downbeat, but it's not satisfying. It was like, oh yeah, this guy, he's not really that much of a bad guy. I mean, he is, but he's not. And I'm thinking, okay, I kind of know what you're doing, but the movie's not really smart enough to do it that successfully as you think you are. Like, this seems like a movie that thinks it's a bit smarter than it is, which is kind of a little bit of a turnoff. That's just me, though. But yeah, I... For those set pieces, and I don't mind the look of the film. There's the the, the film. If I stop stumbling my words. It had a budget behind it. It looks like a theatrical film. And with John Travolta's filmography, is not one of his best, but it's not nearly one of his worst, by far. So to the middle of the road to. I would say I, I don't mind the film, but I don't love the film. But that's just me. With that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.